Welcome to my little ukulele build video. Um, it's a five string ukulele. I used as my soundboard the backboard of a old broken guitar. I believe it's mahogany uh, laminate. And so I just butchered the back off and pulled off the struts and then sandpapered as much of the glue as I could get off. Unfortunately, there was a bit of damage to the wood, but it's a rough and ready build. Now, I used only a drill and a hand jigsaw to do this whole project. Here's a picture of the drill with a round hole cutter, um, cutting one of the holes. The neck of the ukulele was made out of American white oak and a strip of white pine, laminated together like that. And there it is being laminated. The body was a salad bowl that I bought um, from uh, eBay. And I just flattened out the top so it would glue nicely. The neck, I cut a profile. You can see there's a little bit of a pencil sketch there, and then I cut off the bulk of um, the wood. But then I just attached a, a sanding disc to my drill and began to shape it. And that back big chunky bit is the one that's going to go inside the ukulele body, which I'm going to reduce quite a lot. So at this stage in the project here, uh, you can see there's been more shaping. The head has been flattened. And I'm starting to get a bit of a shape. Now here I, the, probably the hardest part of the whole build was to cut this notch in the bowl and start sliding the neck in. It took a lot of sanding before it fitted in neatly like that, but I was going really slowly because I didn't want to make a mistake at that point in the project. So in this picture I've got a pre-made um, fretboard that I, I bought on the internet for tenor ukulele and I'm just sizing it up to see that everything is fitting nicely and in this picture you can see I've glued the neck in uh, to the body but at the back end where there's some glue as well I've also got two uh, bolts that run right in. Now I'm putting it all together just to have a look at what it's starting to look like and uh, you start getting a sense of what the project's going to turn out as. So here I've got a nice thick bead of glue around the edge ready to begin sticking the um, wood top one. I've also put my own little sticker in there. I found a salad bowl that was exactly the same diameter so I placed that on the top and then just stacked on some weights and left it overnight and it was really really secure. Uh, when you're doing this kind of thing uh, some of the glue uh, uh, comes out be sure to wipe it uh, with a wet cloth like I've done over here um, so that you don't get a bad sanding job later on. Here's a sketch of the neck and then I used a scroll I mean a head I used a scroll saw to cut out a nice little uh, notch in it and now I begin the process of filing off the excess wood from the the edges of the soundboard and I've also used a Stanley knife to scratch the top of the neck so that it's got plenty of bite for the, the glue when I glue the neck on I mean the fretboard and I did a bit of sanding on the bowl as well and just general sanding of the whole project to um, bring it to the same color and, and give it a bit of a nice finish and some more sanding of the head over here and you can see I've been shaping the back um, of the head so it fits nicely with the neck. Here I've got the uh, fretboard being glued on. I used a piece of wood as a straight part and then underneath that wood is um, some cardboard just to protect the frets this is from a different angle and put it on nice and tight and left it overnight so it's really really strongly uh, bound to the neck and the little piece onto the body. While that was going I started some bone work. We had some marrow bones that I'd put in the dishwasher to wash off all the excess meat and uh, trimmed it using the hand jigsaw. It's actually really nice material to use. It smells awful but it's got a lovely um, way of being worked. So there's the first cut and then here's a bit of advice. Cut much longer than you need to so you have a handle and you can shape the end until it's almost completely shaped and then just cut off the end. So that's this is the result. So this is going to be the uh, nut at the top. Nice fat piece of bone and all I need to do is sand it which I did by hand and I also had some very small little um, files of different shapes so I was able to begin to file in the notches. This is the bridge um, saddle, sorry the saddle and uh, there's a bridge over there which I had spare and so I'm just flattening the saddle down. Now for the back of my ukulele 
I have an old piece of cymbal which I've chopped up because um, I'm a drummer and I've hammered it quite extensively punched some holes into it and then this is going to be where I attach the strings so it's almost like a banjo it's going to have a, a back plate rather than having the strings fixed to the saddle and the nut and here you can start seeing the shape of what I was dealing with and to prevent wear and tear on the strings or to vent, prevent them from snapping I took a piece of really fine laminate wood and shaped it and here I am gluing it onto the back plate and you can see there's a little split pin through there to make sure that all the lines the holes line up and here's the finished back plate I've um, put a bit of countersinking on there so that the, the knots of the string will be nicely sitting inside there and here's the back plate installed just temporarily to see how it all fits and I've also got the old um, what do you call it strap nut here's the neck after it's, I mean the head after it's been uh, varnished starting to look really pretty uh, there's another view of it I've drilled the holes over here for the tuning pins uh, and neaten them up with the a countersink bit as well then came time to set the actions there's a lot of fine sandpapering and checking with a string just loosely attached over the top once that was achieved I got some tuning pegs I've got six tuning pegs you know, just a standard guitar set and obviously just discarded the one and they gave me my five and here is the first time it's all strung up together in five string mode and with a bit of art on the front face and so here's some pictures just to show that I used little notches on the saddle to space the strings as perfectly as I could make the thing really fun to play and here's the finished product <laughs> uh, Ever since I started playing the ukulele, I've really wanted to try and build one. And I've had a few goes, and they've been absolute failures. But this is the first time everything's come together really nicely. And I have to say, I'm rather happy with the end result. So once we've had a little look at these close-up pictures, um, we'll have a little video of how she sounds. Um, the whole project has probably cost me about 60 maybe 70 pounds. I had a few bits and pieces lying around. Um, that I'd, so the most expensive thing was actually just buying the lumber. I mean the wood and, and the, the bowl it's, and you know some of the tuning gear and stuff like that that came on the internet. But the rest of it was just hard work in the garden, measuring twice, cutting once, lots of very very soft sanding and just making sure things fit together, not rushing, taking my time and uh, checking everything twice before doing anything and uh, I'm very very pleased with the result it's quite hard to find five string ukuleles in the United Kingdom at the moment and I really wanted one so that you get the nice uh, sweetness of the re-entrant tuning but you also have that low G sound for a male voice it's quite fun to sing along to something like this uh, yeah so thank you for watching the video and there's a video of me playing this ukulele coming up right at the end. Please subscribe. Please have a go at making this kind of thing for yourself. It's such a lot of fun. And we'll see you around. And here she is. All finished and done. Uh, we've installed this little strap my wife crocheted for me. <laughs> Keeping with the homemade theme. Um, at the back here I've just got a an old leather watch strap that I've sewn onto the the crocheted strap and then I've got my button going through that so it's pretty good it seems to be all right it seems to be pretty strong and yeah so this is it this is my ukulele it took about a week to make which is really really quite fun and um, it's got a, a, a look I've got this string here uh, tuned as low G but it's not actually a low G string uh, that came as a red string from Aquila but it snapped straight away literally before I could get it up to tune and it snapped somewhere up here so it wasn't even to do with the the the, the nuts being too sharp or anything like that so it was just it's just a really I don't like the red stuff and the normal strings are fine but the red the red strings seem doesn't even feel nice to my hands so I've got a nice low G string coming from Worth in the mail but at the moment I've just got a I think it's a could even be an E string or something, a spare one that I had and I've just strung it low but it is struggling to, to sound like G. But the whole ukulele sounds rather sweet. It's 
strings are still stretching, so I'm having to tune it up constantly, but uh, they're starting to settle into place. So this video is just to uh, play it for you a little bit. I'm not a, a, a I'm a beginner <laughs> ukulele player, um, so bear with me. I'll do a little song quickly. I once was lost in darkest night. Yet thought I knew the way. The sin that promised joy and life had led me to the grave. And no hope that you would own a rebel to your will. And if you had not loved me first, I would. I ran my hellbound race, indifferent to the cost. You looked upon my helpless state that led me to the cross. And I beheld God's love display. You suffered in my place. You bore the wrath reserved for me. Now all I know. Now, Lord, I will be yours alone and live so all might see the strength to follow your commands could never come from me. Father, use my ransom life in any way you choose. Let my song forever be my only boast is you. Or something like that so there you go have a go at making something like this yourself it is much easier than you think but you do have to be careful and there she is in all her glory the salad bowl five string ukulele thanks for watching please subscribe have a look at my other videos and uh, maybe next summer I'll do a bass ukulele